One of the worst disasters we can imagine is a spinal cord injury and resulting paralysis. What a disaster. Anything that we could do to, to restore that would be fantastic. And of course, we've been looking for that for a long time. And what we found in, in, in the recent literature is that acetyl-L-carnitine, a nutrient, uh, speeds spinal cord injury recovery. And the way I think it works is that what acetyl-carnitine does is it speeds the transport of long chain fatty acids across the mitochondrial membrane into the mitochondria itself. And that's important because it brings nutrients into the mitochondria that can be used to burn and make ATP. ATP is a chemical energy like gasoline is to a car and cells have to have that to function. And when there's an injury, a crush injury or whatever it is to a spinal cord, the mitochondria don't work well. And if we can resuscitate them so that they can, they can hold and recover, then a lot of those cells that, are, that will die may not die and they may speed the recovery system substantially. There are new studies also that have been done with something called N-acetylcysteinamide that promises to do better because it actually makes glutathione, which is the most important intracellular anti antioxidant that helps balance uh, all the charges, all the, uh, the, the things that are going wrong inside of a cell and provide great antioxidant protection. So those two things together are an example of how we can bring uh, information and network uh, with different uh, scientists to try, try and find synergistic ways of making a problem like a spinal cord injury much more treatable. If we had even more of this networking occurring, we might be thinking of infrared light therapy too. Why infrared light therapy? And what is it? <clears throat> it's using near-infrared light that's in the visible, that's in the spectrum, you can't see it, at about 880 nanometers. And what it does is it resuscitates mitochondria. First of all, when it hits the mitochondrial wall, it causes cytochrome C oxidase, which is an enzyme in there, to speed the production or the metabolism of long chain fatty acids so that they will be able to be converted into ATP. So that basically what's happening is we're injecting a light in the, in the infrared frequency into the mitochondria and converting it into chemical energy called ATP which can then do the same thing that the acetyl L-carnitine is doing and support what's happening with the N-acetylcysteine amide. Beautiful combination. Now, as soon as I read this article, I shot an email off to the people at the University of, of Kentucky and said, what do you think of this? How about we have a conversation? So far, I haven't heard back from them. But wouldn't it be a wonderful opportunity to put together different therapies that support exactly what we need for recovery of an injury that's like a spinal cord injury. And it's one of the problems that we have in healthcare today. It's one of the problems that we have in research. We don't have that much in the way of complementary alternative approaches uh, to healing or to treatment used as treatments that were researched through NIH. And basically it's because Big Pharma uh, has a huge uh, hold over the National Institutes of Health and most of the money is done to look at silver bullet therapy, which is, of course, what drugs are. But what we need is to, is to be looking at service first, not return on investment, not profits, and not some of the things that are done uh, that are not right, uh, that, that allow certain uh, research projects to be funded and, and others not to. Here's an opportunity to look at, at building new therapies that could work together and maybe solve a problem that we haven't been able to do up to this time. I think it's possible. But the deeper thing and the message of this, of this presentation is that I think it's important that we start looking at integrated strategies and, and going beyond the boundaries of our particular discipline so that we're willing to look at other therapies that have been around for thousands of years but maybe don't have any research in, uh, that's been done in the mainstream. What we tend to do in the mainstream is if we don't understand it, we throw it out. And then we have no chance of benefit, benefiting from it. I think we're going to see a new kind of research where we're looking at outcome studies. We do a lot of things at the same time. Never know which one is particularly the one that does the job, 
but not really caring if the job gets done and people get better. This is what needs to be done. So acetylcarnitine, big breakthrough. Maybe something like N-acetylcysteinamide, another good breakthrough. Infrared light therapy, another great breakthrough. Let's see if we can put these together and see what happens.